world is all about slaying orcs, and it's, it's awesome. The War in the North is any Tolkien fan's ultimate interactive fantasy. And it gets super gory and bloody. our menu! This is the first mature rated Lord of the Rings game. That means we can have a lot more orc blood flying and orc limbs flying and orc heads rolling. It's about time we had an M-rated game. You see somebody get a, a goblin head chopped off and the blood pouring out of the neck hole. You're like, cool. I love slaying orcs. I love slaying goblins. I love slaying mountain trolls. I love slaying fell beasts. You know, give me a monster, I will kill it. I would always ask, like, so if there are cave trolls, are there other kind of trolls? Well, apparently, if you play this game, you'll come to learn that there are snow trolls, and I bet they're not very nice. I can't even tell you how excited I am that there's finally a, a, a mature-rated Lord of the Rings game. I'll buy games that don't have an M stamped on them, but I'm not gonna have as much fun. It's fun to sort of run around and spot an orc and just have at him. Well, orcs are evil. It's nice that, you know, I can get on Xbox Live and, and kill things with my friends. And I can be in my underwear, and they have no idea. The characters have a little gravity to them, a little weight to them, so when they get hit in the kneecap and it explodes their kneecap, you really get a sense of the tendrils and all the things that hang out of the kneecap as the character's falling. You face a ranger now! One of my uh, favorite metal songs called Destroy the Orcs by uh, uh, Three Inches of Blood, and I would just put that song on and, uh, let the orc bodies pile up around you. I'll be honest, sometimes I feel bad for orcs. I think a, an orc, if you properly you, you fed him and gave him shelter and befriended him, I think that would be for life. If I see an orc in a game, that's a different story. I know it's just a game, so I'm gonna kill the shit out of him. Bring it. those orcs. I think if you're an adult, you should have the option to play whatever type of game you should play. If you're dealing with a game based around war, and that's what you're into and you've paid for the game, then maybe you should be getting what you expect. War is an important theme in the books and Tolkien never really shied away from the brutality of war. It's not really that we wanted to do, you know, gratuitous violence for the sake of it. It's that as the books are written, the, the violence is realistically depicted and it's nasty and brutal and intense. Tolkien's life was was really marked by both of the world wars. Uh, first, the first world war that he himself served in and then his sons took part in World War II. And actually, while he was drafting the Lord of the Rings, he was sending off chapters of the Lord of the Rings to his son, Christopher, who was in the Royal Air Force down in South Africa. Someone was here before us. There was a fight here very recently. The bodies, they're dwarves. I think War in the North appeals to a couple different types of gamers. I think it appeals to the guy that just wants to hack and slash his way through an adventure. It appeals to a guy who wants to have a little bit of a role-playing experience. An action role-playing game is one where you build your character for the purpose of making them a good fighter. It's really a game that's bringing together two genres. In terms of the, um, the role-playing elements of the game, I mean, the, the studio that's making it, Snowblind, has a you know, more than 10-year heritage of making fantastic role-playing games. It's very fast, it's very aggressive. Uh, the other side of that, the role-playing side, is it's more than just playing as these characters, it's developing a character. I love role-playing games where you can actually uh, get new attributes or get new things, new powers and new strengths. I like to get involved in a, in a battle and feel like I've, I've been instrumental in, in killing the enemy, but I also like to be a little strategic. Being able to use a heavy strike in the game when you see this little arrow appear above uh, a character's head and you can slice them apart in slow motion, whether it's taking off their head, their arms, their legs, or I mean, that's really satisfying. If it's not rated M, why, why are you playing it, you know? If you're just hitting things and blood doesn't come out, what comes out? Coins? Candy? It's no fun unless blood comes out. Am I right? I'm totally right.